Now we'll move on to discuss brain pathways. The central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system are connected through sensory and motor pathways. The brain and spinal cord are connected through sensory and motor tracts, as well as their associated nuclei. The pathways are organized bilaterally in the spinal cord and according to the innervation target. These tracts are named based on the origin and destination of the neurons within the tract. The sensory pathways deliver millions of impulses to the brain to organize and send out the necessary motor responses. The motor pathways are made up of at least two motor neurons, the upper motor neuron and the lower motor neuron. The upper motor neuron can excite or inhibit the lower motor neuron, and the lower motor neuron extends to the muscle fibers or target. Let's begin with the sensory pathways. This image depicts the sensory pathway beginning in the brain in the somatosensory area of the cerebral cortex moving down through the spinal cord. The sensory neurons of the body monitor changes in the external environment, as well as changes in the skin. The majority of the sensory information is processed outside the cerebral cortex within the spinal cord, thalamus, and brainstem. Within the sensory pathway, there are three types of neurons. First order, second order, and third order neurons. First order neurons function by delivering sensory information to the nervous system. Second order neurons are interneurons. The cell bodies of these neurons can be either in the spinal cord or in the brainstem. Third order neurons synapse with the second order neuron and deliver the sensory information to the sensory area of the cerebral cortex. There are three primary somatic sensory pathways in the body. The dorsal column, the spinal thalamic pathway, and the spinal cerebellar pathway. The image on the right is an example of the posterior column pathway, also known as the dorsal column medial laminiscal pathway. This tract transmits sensations, fine touch, pressure, and vibrations from the body. It also transmits the relative position of body parts, proprioception. The spinal thalamic pathway transmits pain, temperature, and gross touch and pressure sensations. The spinal cerebellar pathway transmits proprioception. As you can see in the image on the right, sensory information comes in through the first order neuron. Then it's passed to the second order neuron and ends up in the third order neuron within the brain. The motor pathways. The motor pathways are descending pathways and they're organized into the following. Number one, the cortical spinal pathway. This includes the cortical bulbar tract, the lateral cortical spinal, and the anterior cortical spinal tract. Number two is the medial pathway. This includes the vestibulospinal, tectospinal, and the reticulospinal tract. Number three is the lateral pathway. This includes the rubrospinal tract. These tracts transmit the motor commands of the body in response to sensory information transmitted by the sensory pathways. The motor pathways of the body are organized into the somatic nervous system which innervates muscles and the autonomic nervous system which innervates smooth muscle, cardiac muscle, and glands. The motor descending tracts are highlighted in red in this image. The motor homunculus. The image in this slide depicts both the motor and the sensory somatotopic maps. Somatotopic maps have been established by systematic electrical stimulation of area M1 for the motor cortex and area S1 for the somatosensory cortex, creating the diagram known as the homunculus. Each of these maps are also referred to as a homunculus. They each show the proportion of neurons responsive to various portions of the body. There's a stark difference between the representation of motor and sensory cortex. For example, the foot has a larger representation in the sensory cortical map 
than the motor cortical map. This reflects that there's less motor than sensory neurons in the foot, whereas in the toes, the reverse is true. The other two motor pathways of the body are the medial and lateral motor pathways. The medial motor pathway functions by controlling the muscle tone and the gross movements of the neck, trunk, and proximal limb muscles. The upper motor neurons for the medial pathway are located in the following nuclei, the vestibular, superior and inferior colliculus, and the reticular formation. The lateral motor pathway controls the muscle tone and movements of distal portions of the upper limbs. And the upper motor neurons are located in the red nucleus superior to the reticular formation.